Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 5th of June. July? What is it? July. Man, 2016. I'm a rise of the party, Lazar. This is my microphone. Let's get started for a quick video blog to enlighten you on relationships. Hey, right. men and women. And the dynamic between men and women. And what are some <clears throat> things that are going on that are invisible to you? Okay. Um... In your relationship, no argument. If you're the man, you have to lead, right? We were just talking behind the camera. I was asking one of my friends, and she said, "Well, I said, what was the biggest problem?" She said, "He didn't lead." If you're a man, you have to lead. Okay, that's ma It's not because you're a man; it's because that's male energy. Male energy leads. As I was teaching a lecture, I think yesterday at some point, I think it was you. I said, "Female energy follows." Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying when you see them. Uh, when you see women, oh, right? right? Remember that? Yeah. So, so <clears throat> if female energy is not following, then it's not balanced. And if male energy is not leading, then it's not balanced, right? It doesn't mean male energy can't follow. Like I followed my teachers all the time. That's how I learned, right? But after I followed the teachings of my teacher, then I immediately turn around and apply. That's me then leading again, right? So there are moments where you have to be receptive, of course. But overall, what I'm talking about is in a relationship, male has to lead women has to follow okay now this is not politically correct it's not popular but in popular times which is these days divorces are one out of two and I think becoming like more than that if it's possible instead of two out of two it's like 1.8 out of two or some shit and politically correct means absolutely nothing because you know it's complete garbage right people are just doesn't make a difference right you're african-american but they still treat you like a nigger right but they can call you an african-american all day long Right? So it's not it's not a matter of politically correct. It's a matter of just being true. So <clears throat> in the truth, you have male energy leading, female energy following, okay? In the relationship. Now you kind of know this if you've been watching my other video blogs. Uh, but a little bit more to it. Because inside of the relationship, once you start to relate to each other and constantly start to relate to each other, constantly start to relate to each other, something interesting happens. <clears throat> At some point the woman starts to um, test the man again this is just nature she tests to see what what is she testing if you're still capable of leading okay test if you're still capable of leading because you may have lost it okay that will be like for you guys the woman you meet her at 117 or 18 pounds and then you come back and you look at her eight months later and she's 180 pounds Right, just like okay, like that's not how I met you. That's not what. That's not what was attractive, right? So she tests. Now, <clears throat> when she's testing you, if you look carefully, you'll notice that it's at times when you are doing one or the other. Now, pay close attention. You as a guy are either demonstrating, you know, like yeah, winning and da 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 da. Things are good. Boom, test. She just tests, boom. She can't even fucking, she can't even help it. So, you know, the guy wins the NBA championships. She's cheering him on. It's all good. I bet you in the next two days they have a fight. She, very quick, right after that, she tests him. One. Two, things are not going good for you as a guy. Right? She watches you and you're crashing. Lost your job. Whatever. Something. Something and you're crashing. Right at that moment, you expect support, but she tests you. If you've ever been in a relationship, you're not getting support during that time. You're getting mm, like a short amount of support. But then right a couple of days later, bam, <clears throat> you're being attacked by her. Okay? There's a reason for both of these things. So let's recognize them. And women listen because you're doing it all the time. So you need to know what you're doing. When he starts to go like this, and when she tests him, she tests to see if it's real. Because he's now jumped up a condition. Right? He's now more. So she tests. Because if he jumped up more and she could hit him and he drops back down, she loses respect. She tests to see if this is a real condition or not. For example, this will happen if you're doing uh, if you're in a relationship and you have you're one with one girl and you're gonna uh, have a relationship with another girl. She might even comply in the beginning, okay, it's no problem, blah blah blah. And then she tests you once you're in there. To see if you're really in if you if you really Earned that condition. That's female energy. That's not. She doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. But male energy moves up. If she's gonna stay with it, she has to test it. 
Because if it moves up and then she starts to pretend that this is the case and it drops, she suffers. This is the energy. Then he can no longer lead her. So as he goes up, she has to test to make sure that it's it's safe for her to go there. Right? This is again the same thing, relationships, multiple relationships. So we're gonna have multiple relationships with women, then it's really important for you to understand that because when she tests you, how you react, how you respond is gonna determine whether or not she's gonna be okay with other women in your life. Okay? It has nothing to do with them, it has everything to do with you as a guy. Second one is when you start to drop down and you're being hurt, attacked, you lost your job, you lost something, right? Some kind of loss. Then she tests to see if you have what it takes to bounce back. Because let's say you can't bounce back from a no job. Then she's not going to stick around. Right? So you get tested at your weak points and you get tested at your strong points. What happens in the middle point? Well, life doesn't really have too many middle points. But if there is a middle point, she's waiting with you. You go up, she'll test you to see if it's a real condition. You go down, she tests you to see if, it's a, if, if you're going to bounce back up. And how is this going to help your relationship? First, ladies. The proper thing to understand is when he goes down, if you're in a relationship and now we're bringing consciousness in so that we could have better relationships, when he goes down, that's the time for support, but not baby. Let me explain to you. The movie 300 was a great example. The king is worried he's in bed. And I don't remember the exact scene of what he says to her. He's, he's kind of just like talking to his wife about his stress. <clears throat> And he says something like, what would a king do or something like that, right? And she says, oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking this up. But if you watched it, you know the scene. She says to him, don't ask whatever he asked. She says, instead, ask yourself, what would a free king do or a free being do or something, right? So she's soft. She's listening. She's supporting. She's kind of like hugging him, but she's not babying him. She, what she does is she reminds him that he's a free, powerful king. That's how you support, if you want to know. But this is a relationship block, right? That's how you support your partner, if it's a guy. Even if it's a lesbian, right, and she's carrying the male energy, that's how you support it. You remind them of their strength. That's how the support is. Nothing else. Nothing, oh my God, it's okay, it's going to be okay. You remind them of what their strength was that you saw in them. That reminder will, boom, bring back the power to the male energy. She reminds him, this is what I've taken from you, is the strength, now here it is for just a second. And then he comes up. That's how you support when it goes down. Does that make sense? Yeah? Did I explain that right? Everybody get it? Okay, good. Next. What are you supposed to do when he goes up? You, in a relationship, are supposed to watch the people around him. The female energy goes like this for a second around it. He moved up a condition. He's going to have new enemies. Okay? There'll be new attacks on him. The dynamic shifts for just a second. So let me give you an example. <clears throat> the guy wins the NBA championship. She knows he's about to go under attack. No matter how much the celebration, they're going to come back and say he... He didn't shoot good or he's doing just the attack, attack. New women will come in. If you're his woman, attention is on you. So when you make a statement or you, you're around him and you hold, if you make a statement, some, you, know, you really don't do that, but you're, you're with him. And what people see is that you are acknowledging his win more than anybody else. You're not part of the bandwagon. You know what I fucking hate seeing is when the girls run up and just like, ah. They're so happy. They're like the fucking fans. That's your husband. That's your boyfriend. Don't give the same reaction that a stranger or a fan gives. I get, I get you're a fan too. But the relationship is different. You must believe in the person. What if, what if we saw someone win a championship and we saw their wife walk up with total confidence and acknowledge them and hug them and kiss them, but just not, not like she's surprised, not like, yes, you've now changed my life. But like, of course, that's you. You know what would happen? Everybody would notice, and that man's strength would strengthen right there. Right there. So this is a missed piece in relationships because I don't know who's going to tell you this shit, right? I am because I know it. Is that when a man is down, you remind him of his power, and when he's up, you go over there and you 
acknowledge that you knew that was the case. Always, but not like, this is the key, not like scattered energy that comes his way. Right? It's different. Like, let's say I'm doing a book signing. And then my girlfriend's run up and I'm just like, oh my God, this is so cool. Cool. Or they walk up, big smile, hug, kiss, and like, here it is. You know, exactly what you said you're going to do. So fucking cool. Now, I like that shit. Because it's an acknowledgement of who you are as a man. So if <clears throat> man and woman can relate, and I talk more about how females should treat the man in this one, that's fine. That's what, what came up. If you do this, your relationship will strengthen. Because the opposite, work it out for yourself. I'm not going to go through it, but take everything I said, turn it around in the opposite. And you'll see where you fucked up. Now, it doesn't mean if you do that, your relationship stays. It won't. I've had many, 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 many breakups. Because the relationship is too deep. We can go over that one day. If it was just you and you, it would be okay. There would be no breakups. It's two people. Both people have to dance. Right? If one person stops dancing, then the other person dancing on the dance floor while the person standing there. There's, there's no more dancing happening, right? This is why they're risky. This is why <clears throat> they're so heated or whatever the fuck. All the energy in a relationship is because this. Because you can't get the other person to dance the way you want them to dance. And they're required to dance with you. Right? They're required to dance. Not too fast, not too slow, but your rhythm. Not stop when you're still dancing. There's so many people. Not to grab another partner in the middle of the dance. Right? So this is all very important. And that's why it's a relationship. You relate to each other. Okay? And uh, this I'll go into another one. All right? If you like this video blog, share it. Snoopy says so. Please don't make me do stuff. That was exactly like my dog today. Training my new puppy, Shadow. Oh, my God. That fucking guy. Okay. Share this video blog. IMC Nation. Be the best. Fuck the rest. Where's my mouse? Do you see the mouse on the Instagram today? Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah.